we're gonna talk about this character called Luck. But you know, Japanese are call it Raku, so this is how I'm gonna pronounce it from now on. So, have you wondered why Raku Borutia always wants to fight? Well, gentlemen, this is what I'm gonna answer you on this video. And get ready for something interesting because you're gonna love this character. Raku is just a simple person who was born and raised into a common family. He was the single child into this family and he was only grown by his mother. It was hard for her to bring money to home and also take care of her son, so she always thought about Raku that he's useless, he cannot do anything, he's just a piece of shit, you know, just because he couldn't do his responsibilities properly. That was her opinion about her son. But one day, what happens is that Raku went to an event, I don't know what is it exactly, it's not spe specified on the manga, but he went to this event and got into a fight with a noble. So he defeated this guy without sweating and I presume he left him unconscious. Well, this is something you don't see every day on Clover Kingdom. You know, nobles see commoners as mediocre people who only use magic just to grow potatoes and this was incredible for the other kids around to see this. Well, when he got home, his mother somehow found out what he did, uh, but she didn't punish him like she was always doing. This time she congratulated Raku for beating a noble. And you know, in a world where only magic matters, to be a peasant and have that kind of magic means you just don't give a shit about growing potatoes anymore. Yeah, so his mother finally saw that Draku is good at something, so she called him special and told him that he should always win the fights over and over again. I suppose this was a shock for Raku to finally see a reason why his mother should love him. And he took this reason with him and went further to achieve more, that one day he decided to attempt the Magic Knight's entrance exam. During the final stage of 1 vs 1 combat, Raku almost killed his opponent on the arena. This action made none of the captains to want him on their team, except Yami, who accepted him on Black Bulls. Now of course you know the reason why Raku always wants to fight, but we are not done yet. 50% of the time why Raku was punished by his mother was because he was useless on her vision but the other 50% was because he was smiling. The negative attention his mother tried to give him wasn't effective at all. And we can also say the same about other events such as the time when he had beaten the noble or when he defeated his opponent on Magic Knight's exam enters. But not lastly, Raku was smiling even when his mother died out of stress. That's right, he didn't have any emotions about her and it freaked the shit out of everyone. On his entire childhood, Raku was always alone because people were scared of him and his smile. And you know what, even his mother asked why he was born this way. We don't have the reason into the manga either. Anyway, as a result of a pool, I see the popularity of Raku is very huge. I can confirm he is one of my favorite characters from the show and I hope to see more about him. This video is just a simple backstory without any visual proof of what I said, but don't worry, very soon you'll see everything on the anime version, I think uh, around episode 15, 16, 17, somewhere like that. So in conclusion, I suppose Raku is that kind of character who we can attach the most. I am sure most of us are called weird every day and seeing Raku being like this just make us feel great and keep smiling like him without giving a shit what everyone thinks about us.